So I want to share with y'all some of the things that I got that I'm actually going to be using my, um, I'm actually going to be using this Vital Leaf Teapot for infusions, um, for tea. And one of the things that I recently purchased was, is the, um, Nettle Stinging Leaf. And I intend to, I got it from Frontier Co-op. I, I intend to use this for my hair as well as you can drink this and um, for your hair care and things like that. I'm also going to use the sage leaf. I am kind of, even though I still use natural hair products, I am transitioning into incorporating, incorporating some Ayurvedic um, items as well. And you can put these items into your tea rinses. Um, your your conditioners and stuff like that so um this here is the what is this this is the fenugreek seeds that i recently purchased i got this jar from tj Maxx y'all for two dollars it was 199 and i also got some other jars that was uh 199 great great price from tj Maxx. you know to kind of put things in um I got another one of these jars here. This is a great size, $1.99 from TJ Maxx. If you're looking for like storage jars and things like that, go to TJ Maxx. Do not pay a lot for them. This jar here, which I have the fenugreek seeds in, is a really, really nice jar as well. And this was only $1.99. I actually got another one of these, but that's going to be the best place to go for you to get storage jars and things like that so i'm going to actually wash these and let them dry and then store my nail leaf um and sage leaf into these things i do have some more products coming and i have been using tea rinses like forever for a couple of years now i really do like tea rinses a lot i'm just beginning to purchase um, my own separate things too and I'm really big lately into actually drinking teas which is really good for the hair the skin you know the nails and just for your body in general so all this is not just hair specific but for my body as well um, and yeah so I'm really excited I've been incorporating a lot of things I have noticed a big difference in the strengthening of my hair you know I'll tell y'all in some other videos I did um, I want to talk a little bit about my hair I know I'm not on camera but I will come back and do a little bit of talking about some of the things that I have noticed but these came from Amazon extremely inexpensive um maybe like $12 for the stinging leaf uh, about $10 $12 these each and these are huge this is 16 ounces and this one is 16 ounces as well so you get a pound of products very inexpensive and you can make whatever you want to make out of it the tea kettle was um like what is that I pay 16 dollars might have been a little bit cheaper um i had three a three dollar coupon or something so i purchased that as well um i got another one of these jars it says refrigerator um, this one also, like I said, was, where's the price? I don't know what the price is. Um, $1.99. And these are great sizes, really, for $1.99. You can't beat the price on these. Um, I actually looked up and got some of these jars from the Dollar Tree. So these are really inexpensive. And I got these, um, and I also got these labeled. These are canning, canning, canning jar labels by Ball. Um, and they dissolve, which is awesome because y'all know how sometimes it is so hard to get, um, the labels to come off of stuff. And this is what they look like. So I just kind of nothing fancy. Y'all, I really don't need anything fancy. These jars here I got for the Ayurvedic powders. Um, and I want something small. So this is fenugreek powder. This is Bromley powder, and I have it for each, like the Alma, and they store really nicely in your cabinet and stuff. This is another alternative as well. I've been using these for a while, child. These jars here, these um, 
they call them cannon jars um i've had a set of these forever and all you have to do is just replace the lids um every so often and i do that as well I have the lids that i replace them with but these are my ride or die chow. And this is ro dried ro rosemary in here. I also recently just purchased some fresh rosemary and, um, what is that? Rosemary and mint leaves that I have that um, I wanna try and grow in a really sunny place in my home just to add some freshness to things. And let me show y'all, keep these freaking jars here. This is a reused Mount Olive pickle jar. But you can use these jars if you don't want to spend like any money and you're emptying them out anyway. I always keep the well, not always, but I keep these jars. And what I have here is some fenugreek oil with other things actually just sitting. It's marinating. It's been doing this maybe for like two weeks. And so you can see the seeds in the bottom and stuff but um this is actually what i have here so i pour a little bit out into a um into a little bottle massage my scalp with it every night and stuff like that and which is really really nice it really is it helps with detangling it helps with a lot of stuff but these are just alternatives, you know, save your jars, your glass jars. I love glass because glass does not hold the smell. You can get rid of the smell, you know, plastic. Whatever you put in plastic tends to stick to that smell, but glass jars, you don't have to worry about that. Okay, y'all, so I have put the stinging, the nettle stinging leaf in here, and y'all, it really smells good. It's not a lot of stems in it. Um, or anything like that. I was really impressed with this. And let me tell you something. This sage, the thing about working with natural herbs, the smell, oh my goodness, is so intoxicating. This is that sage leaf. And y'all, it smells absolutely amazing. Like that company, Front Frontier, I definitely will purchase, repurchase some more of their herbs because they are dynamite. Like seriously, I love, love, love these herbs. And keep in mind that this just is, I'm really not new to this. Like you know how you be doing stuff all along but you don't really know what to call it. Or you don't really know it's a name to it <laughs> until you start doing like research. So I've always done like tea rinses and things like that so to know that you know it's finally a name to it okay girl do your thing i did though just add the bromney and you know like the the powder herbs and stuff like that i did recently just start adding those things in to my hair care regimen but these teas i intend to drink some of these teas um they're really good for you i said that before but i did just want to come back and show you what they look like and that's a lot of product and guess what i still have so much left in the bags um for the nettle it didn't even it's not even halfway left like it's over halfway still left in the bag the sage um i got about a half a bag left and these jars are humongous i was trying to see i don't even know how big these jars are I took the thing off, but they are big, right? So, I just want to come on and show you, you know, share with you some of the things I'm doing. And if you um, have any questions or anything like that, then drop them and I'll answer them. Sometimes y'all might take me a little bit of time to get to the questions, but I do get to them. But if you have any questions about anything I'm using or if you have any recommendations about some stuff that I probably would enjoy incorporating, um, then just let me know. Oh, let me show you the hibiscus powder I ended up going with. Um, I've had this for a couple of weeks too. So here's some hibiscus powder by Bixa. Chow. What, however you see it. But um, So you do this one. You do have to refrigerate um, once you open it. And here I have the Sinhalese, which is cassia, which I actually... It's actually cassia, which I have in the place of, um, what do you call it? Henna. I really didn't because I do color my edges, so I didn't want to commit to the henna permanently. So, therefore, um, 
I decided to go with the cassia, which is the same thing as the cinnamon leaves. And yeah, y'all, that's it. So if you got any questions, girl, let me know. I might show y'all my tea that I make, tea rinse that I make for my hair in just a little bit here. But if I don't, then thanks for stopping by my channel and look forward to some other things coming um, pertaining to here. And I'll holler back at y'all later. Bye.